So this is Nightfall's carry Weaver and he ended the game with 21 kills and 1 death. Let's see if it's all luck or pure skills. Weaver is one of the stronger carry in the meta as it is fast and can almost run away from any type of trouble. No! God, please, no! Anyways, Weaver has a strong laning stage with his insane physical damage with his Gemini attack and even deadlier when paired with another ranged support, in this case is a Vengeful Spirit. Just watch how aggressive he can be in lane as a Weaver. Five minutes in, Nightfall shows a huge carry diff as he is the one that makes the aggressive teleports instead of farming creeps under his tower. And don't forget to use this outpost trick. Once Nightfall reaches the lane, he notices the Wisdom Room was spawning and he starts moving at the 45 second mark. Nightfall is always watching the map to insert his dominance and be aggressive in the map whenever available. Watch and witness how he does it. Dyer's top tower is about to take the plunge. Dyer's middle tower is drowning. Isn't over yet. <laughs> Radiant's bottom tower is under attack. Once again, being aggressive is the name of the game as he joins team fights rather than solo split pushing the top lane. Radiant's bottom tower faces a stiff wind. Radiant bottom is under attack. Radiant's bottom tower has rung its last bell. As a carry, you would always want to farm nearby your team so you can join team fights as fast as possible, which is the perfect situation for Weaver with his speed. Middle tower is under attack. Huh? Damn! For Dyer's bottom tower is about to flower. Here you can see Nightfall stops farming jungle the moment the enemy team shows up in the map. This is one of the best moments to split push as he forces people to the top lane, gaining free information. Using echolocation?
belly up. They're trying to bring down Radiant's top tower. Radiant's middle tower is under attack. The moment he got his Lincoln Sphere, he actively smoked with his teammates searching for fights. Dyer's middle tower is drowning! Unstoppable! When you know the enemy Monkey King uses BKB, that's when you can confidently take objectives, unless the enemy doesn't want to give it away for free. Just like your just healed over. Dyer's top tower is about to take the plunge. Dyer's top tower is under attack. Five minutes in, the reason why Nightfall wants to tippy top to shove the lane is to potentially protect the Nighttime Roche, and that is where a war started. Dyer's middle tower is under pressure. After the fight, they managed to catch the Crystal Maiden and Monkey King and secure the Aegis on the Weaver. What? What the With the Aegis on Weaver, that is when you want to play actively and start taking objectives. Same as you, Tidehunter. Radiant's middle tower can't handle this deluge. Dyer's top tower is about to take the plunge. Dyer's top tower is under attack. Radiant's middle tower has fallen. Dyer's top tower is about to take the plunge. Once Nightfall forced them back to their base, he went back to make use of his Aegis and went to the high ground. After getting the mid rat, his team caught the Monkey King lacking outside his base and he immediately joins the fray.
Dyer's bottom tower won't last long. Dyer's bottom tower has fallen. That's all for today. Like and subscribe if you like the video. Bye.